In this video, we walk you through the steps involved in configuring iManage Threat Manager on iManage Cloud. You can sign into iManage Threat Manager either through the URL provided by our cloud services or through iManage Control Center. The URL provided to you will vary depending on where your organization operates from. Note the difference in the suffix for the US and the UK. Using the URL provided by iManage Cloud Services, sign in with your iManage Work credentials. iManage Threat Manager handles authentication through iManage Work. When you are signing in to iManage Threat Manager for the very first time, you must be a member of NRT Admin Group in iManage Work. By default, all members of the NRT Admin Group can sign in, add users, assign roles to users, configure settings, and so on. Alternatively, you can sign into iManage Threat Manager through the more familiar iManage Control Center application. You must be in the classic view of iManage Control Center. Due to security reasons, you will observe that only limited functionality is available. As the first step toward initial configuration, let's grant the roles of Rule Editor and Investigator to Work Admin, that is, the user you are currently signed in as. This provides the user the ability to add alert rules and carry out investigations. Note how the different capabilities in the application appear as soon as the user is granted the Rule Editor and Investigator roles. Let's now grant the roles of Rule Editor, Investigator, and Role Manager to another user in the organization, say from Risk and Compliance team, who will be responsible for the application. If users have Rule Editor or Investigator roles assigned, they can sign into iManage Threat Manager. They need not be part of NRT Admin Group. Let's now ensure that the time zone is set appropriately. Select the time zone that a majority of users in the organization work in. Scroll down on the page to the Score Settings section. Let's now map threat levels to appropriate risk scores. These are the recommended settings and can be changed in the future. Let's now populate the Global Exclusion List. The Global Exclusion List represents those users in the organization who exhibit a behavioral pattern that is different from the general population of users who work on a matter. Add Admin Accounts, Robot Accounts, Service Accounts created by iManage Cloud Team and the Risk and Compliance Team of your organization to the Global Exclusion List. Let's run Outlier Analysis to ensure that we have correctly identified all these special accounts. This analysis should be run across three months, and it ranks and rates users in the organization across three metrics. Unique Clients, Unique Matters, and Unique Documents. Sort by each of these metrics and look at the top five to ten users and make sure they are regular users. If not, add them to the Global Exclusion List. Your initial configuration is complete. As part of initial configuration, you have signed in to iManage Threat Manager, assigned roles to users, set the time zone, mapped threat levels to risk scores, and populated users in Global Exclusion List.